Hello again, this is uh, Richard Jones with another video tutorial on my workflow uh, working with um, wildlife images uh, in Affinity Photo on Windows. So um, <coughs> um, this is the this is the um, uh, the editing or pixel editing phase of this video. So um, let's uh, let's start with um, uh, the the cropped version. I've uh, already cropped this image. Uh, so now now we're going to do the uh, the pixel editing and. Uh, take it that far but I'm gonna have to cut off at 15 minutes as uh, it won't upload to um, YouTube if it's longer than 15 minutes so I may have to do this in um, chapters so uh, I'll finish the first chapter and then uh, I'll post the second and so on um, so okay let's uh, let's start with the um, with the edit on this and um, um, Let's see if I can. Um, uh, let's just bring this up in size so that we give ourselves a little more real estate and uh, uh, deal with uh, getting rid of this uh, seed feeder. Um, and as you can see, the, um, the focus is dropping off pretty fast because of the, the depth of field. But if we come to the point of focus, we can see how good the detail is and uh, um, really excellent and then as the bird fades back or th the distance to the film plane uh, increases you can see the drop off in that. This is normal. Um, it's just one of the vagaries of photography. Um, not really a vagary, it's it's based on, on the laws of optics so uh, uh, we just have to put up with it. Otherwise, um, uh, we we change our technique and go to a um, a different f stop, maybe f11, f as far as f uh, f22, whatever. Uh, if you want uh, high depth of field and and uh, uh, almost like a photo stacked image. Uh, um, but in this case, I'm satisfied. Uh, in, in, in this is satisfying my choice and my style to um, focus on the uh, I always go for the eye <laughs> I get the eye and the crosshairs and that's where I shoot and uh, uh, that's a that's a standard for uh, wildlife photography if you can see the eye shoot it so um, let's get rid of this then and um, I'm gonna do uh, let's see where am I gonna start with this um, I'll just um, well here's here's one point right here um, the uh, the twig going right into the branch let's let's if we if we um, and I'm I'm on the uh, alt key and uh, just pressing on the uh, see it changes the plus to a minus and it'll take it down um, press the space bar it'll bring up the hand all right so um, yeah I want to uh, this has got to go of course and uh, then we're left with little things like this and uh, maybe even that one in the back should go and and this uh, definitely has to go and perhaps this as well so let's get in there a little tighter let's deal with this right now and uh, start uh, cloning things out we'll use the uh, the clone tool and uh, I'll take that down a little bit left bracket key should take it down but it's not why why is that well let's see what uh, what we can do with this yeah all right We keep resampling, so we keep the um, keep things looking believable. Favorite word of mine in this business of uh, transforming images: uh, keep it believable. 
That's what it's all about. Now there's something happening here. This is very sticky. As I press the Alt key, um, I should be able to pick up from... There we go. Things get sticky. Or is it me? Am I forgetting, forgetting what I should be doing? I don't know if it's me or not. Now it seems to be working. It may have been me. Um, now let's get rid of this. Okay. Get nice and tight into that beak. Be sure you have a little bit of feather on your brush so it makes it believable. If you if you have it too sharp, your edit will look like it was cut and pasted. You know, cut with a pair of scissors uh, out of paper and paste it on the screen, and that's not what we're looking for. Uh, we want it believable. Okay. So I'm going to just come in here a little more. Um, take this out. Actually, I'll click right on that line and then and take it across. Okay. And then I don't know, maybe come across here and move it out make it believable. Um, now let's go to the, our uh, smudge tool and and do the same thing in uh, making it believable. Get rid of all these um, tooling artifacts and uh, blend them in so that they're not as uh, noticeable and make it believable. Alright, let's see uh, Let's see, we go down to our um, full screen view. Let's see what, uh, oops. Uh, let's see what we have accomplished. Alt, go, go. Okay. Um, I'm not believing it, but we'll, we'll, um, We'll we'll clean up that up a little bit. Let me just uh, get back into the clone tool here and get rid of that uh, smudgy looking mess. And we'll just take it out. Okay, um, let's get that over here and bring that in a little bit. Let's take this out. Now let's go on to the the edge there. And now we can start cloning out the, the hook and uh, the rest of the uh, seed holder. It's just a matter of Selecting from uh, a suitable background area and uh, cloning it in. Let's get that fixed up a little bit. Okay. Again, uh, get a little bit of hard edging there, so we'll just blend it and uh, make it believable. Okay. Same here. I'm gonna just kind of confuse that so the eye doesn't pick up on it. All right. Now we'll continue with with the rest of this. So um, now I'm gonna carry this surface through the image. Um, there's a shadow here. I don't like. It doesn't seem to belong to anything. So I'm gonna take that out and drop my tool. I am finding an affinity, and maybe the moderators can pick up on this, but um, I, I don't know if it's me or uh, am I on the right tool? No, I'm not. Uh, back on clone. Um, but sometimes I find uh, things are sticky, and, and I don't know if it's an issue of, um, of my... Uh, trying to uh, still thinking uh, still thinking in Photoshop and uh, and um, 
making uh, uh, making mistakes or moves that I would normally do in Photoshop, and uh, I'm trying to carry those over into Affinity, and Affinity doesn't like it, and I, I can't blame Affinity for that. So, time will tell, time will tell, and uh, if it's me, I'll be honest and fess up. Um, but if it's not, it, it, it could be an issue for uh, moderators to take a look at. Um, I don't know why I did that. I was talking too much. Undo. Um, let's take this across. Uh, now I've got to take the tool down a little bit. Left bracket key. Pick up in here. And clean that up a little bit. Um, we can do the same here. Whoops, I'll, I'll put it on here and just come across. Uh, it's, I, I find uh, in some of these details, I, I'm just getting a little too obsessive. Um, let's see where that goes. You know what? We could take that right out, and it, and it won't even matter. So uh, let's do that. I've only got about five minutes left, so I'm going to have to end this in five minutes. Um, clone. Okay. Let's let's take this out. Let's just get rid of it. Give myself some room here to maneuver. I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with this sharp edge that I want to blend, and I'll d I'll do it by um, uh, have I got an opacity control. There we are. I'll um, I'll take the opacity down, and then I'll sample here, and and we'll see. Now, if we keep doing that, we'll see how that's kind of blending in a little bit. I'll do that once. See see that? Uh, then we can go back in and uh, just smudge that a little bit. And you can see how we've made a, a what's the word? A believable transition. Again, uh, smudge that a little bit. Okay, things are looking a little more natural here now. Natural as in believable. Okay. If we go down all the way now and have a look at that. Uh, and so the background bokeh uh, details are, are looking more uh, believable. Alright, so now let's continue and take out. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be back in five minutes um, I'm going to continue taking this out. You've seen enough of that, and then we'll we'll um, we'll make close this this particular chapter and carry carry on with the new chapter. Okay, so bye for now. Be back in minutes. Bye.